Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kate, the Rusty Makeup Artist. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for spending time with me. Let's jump right on into it. We are discussing foundation. Yes, the very beginning. Let's get into it. Foundations. I have a lot. I have a lot. I have different types of foundations, but for the most part, full coverage foundation. Even though I don't really need full coverage, I just happen to like the medium to full. There are so many different types of foundations. You have your BB creams, your CC creams, your sheer foundation, medium foundation, full coverage, liquid, powders, creams. They come in all different forms. So the very beginning is to find out what type of foundation do you want to use? Do you want a liquid? Do you want a powder? Once you figure out that, then we can move on to the biggest step. What is your skin type? Meaning, is it oily like me? Where I would have to go and grab matte products? Or are you combination where you can kind of dibble and dabble in both? Or are you dry where you would lean towards foundations that have a little bit more hydration in there, which I would recommend. But for myself, I have oily skin, so I lean more towards matte products because I don't want my makeup coming off in the middle of the day. If it stays on. But while we are discussing foundations, we have to. This is huge. This is important. I'm going to show you why this is important. Winter and your summer color. Whew, those are two different colors. And if you do not switch it up during those seasons, you will look, you will look crazy. I'm just going to tell you that right now. You're going to look crazy because I was out there myself. It is incredibly important to have a summer color and a winter color. In the winter, you're not out in the sun as much, and the sun isn't, you know, as hot and heavy as it normally is. So you kind of, you know, you lose a little bit of color. At least for me, I, I go in a little bit more in the yellowy. I'm lying. I'm lying. For me, I go down the shade. And in the summertime, I tan, and I'm looking nice and brown. Exactly the way I want to look. <laughs> so, let's get into these foundation looks. I have several different foundations and I have several different colors foundation and I'm going to swatch them on the side of my cheek so that you can see hey this is the reason why you have your summer and your winter let's get into it I'm just gonna do a little swatch on the cheek this is my summer color this is the color that I'm currently wearing which is tiramisu from Too Faced my favorite 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 my winter color, NARS, in the color Macau Medium Deep 4. And you're going to sit here, when I swatch this, you're going to be like, girl, you ain't never been that color. But I'm telling you, this is my actual, <laughs> this is my actual winter color. And the foundation that I was using is also from Too Faced. Born this way in the color Spice Rum which is also my foundation winter color there are only a few shades off but if you start if i walk around wearing this right here i'm going to look insane because i am not this skin color anymore I'm not i'm i feel like i i finessed this color a little bit more because there are some moments through the winter where i'm just a tad bit lighter and this nars really picks up the slack for me and then there are times I'm a little bit, a little bit deeper. And then I go in with my Spice Rum. And I think these both, both these colors work fantastically. But I am very much out of this one. I don't know if you can see. I ain't got nothing left. I ain't got it. <laughs> but the interesting thing about this color and this color, they're only two shades away. Literally, Spice Rum and then Tiramisu. It works for me. Now that you see why you need several different foundations, because your skin type, your skin changes. Sometimes you get a little bit more tan, sometimes you get a little bit more lighter, and you just need foundation to just accommodate the different stages or the different seasons that you just happen to fall into. Now that we got that squared away, let's get our face cleaned up. Let's get into the foundation routine, honey. With all things, you must, whether you are oily, dry, combination, please moisturize. You have to moisturize. It is so important because those that are oily, like myself, and if you do not moisturize, your skin just produces more and more oil because it's saying to itself, yo, 
you obviously ain't feeding your girl with some water. I'm feeling dehydrated. I'm feeling dry. So I'm just going to add more oil to your skin. <laughs> That's why you end up becoming more and more oily because you're not giving your body the necessary things that it needs so that it wouldn't have to overproduce. Meaning, if I would drink more water, I wouldn't have to worry about these things. So I think my life is a dub. You already know me by now. So now that we have our face nice and moisturized, let's get into primers. Primers are very important. And you want to get the primer that's going to match up with your foundation. Not necessarily the same brand, but you want your primer to do what your foundation is doing. So for a perfect example, my Frisali liquid powder will keep me matte all day. Therefore, I can go in with my Tiramisu Born This Way, which will also has no oil in here. It's going to keep me matte. It's going to keep my face on and popping. These two together are a powerhouse for me and my oily skin. So if you have oily skin, I would encourage you wholeheartedly, please look into Frisali liquid powder. It has helped with my makeup tremendously. So I'm just gonna take a little bit onto my hands and put that right into my little T-zone. Everywhere that I get oily. And in a few minutes, you're gonna see my face turn white and that way I know this is activated, this is ready, and I can start with my foundation. So I'll see you in the next clip, my friend. All right, so yes, bare face cake. I really want to drive the point home on why it's important to have the correct shade during the correct season, and also why is it important to make sure you blend your entire face. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my lightest foundation color. I know, I know, I know I'm gonna look crazy, but I really want to make sure you understand the importance of what we're about to do, and that my sacrifice was not in vain, y'all. <laughs> So, I'm just going to dab a little bit of my NARS foundation, which is my winter color, believe it or not. I'm going to use a good old Eco Tools flat kabuki brush. And I'm going to blend my face, but I'm going to leave out certain areas. I'm going to show you why blending is important. And when you think you're done blending, keep on blending, girl. Okay, it is voice over Kate. I literally just wanted to stress the importance on picking your foundation based off the current season that you're in. And I'm sure you can see I look scary, I look ghostly, I look crazy. Please don't be out here in these streets looking like this, because I sure won't be, at least not anymore. <laughs> I hope you were able to learn and take away something from this bit of a demo. Let me know what you think. It's a dub, not happening. This is why your foundation shade is very important depending on the season. This is my winter color. I know it definitely doesn't look like this is my winter color, but I'm telling you, I was wearing this throughout the winter. Yikes. Now, why blending is so important? Because let's just say, for all, all intents and purposes and all the giggles, let's just say, I went out like this and let's say this was my correct color I'm not sure if you can see all the missing areas that I did not blend into such as my neck you see a line of demarcation from where my foundation is to where my actual skin color is around the hairline let me zoom in close so you can see the tragedy Why is it important to blend into your hairline, my friend? Please don't stop here. If that means you gotta push the wig back a little bit to get up in there, please do. Because it looks like I am wearing a whole mask. No, this ain't what we want. Please don't go out there looking like how I look now. Get it together. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you, help me, help you. So, now that you've seen why, 
you need to have your foundation shades in the correct season. And now you've seen for yourself why... Sorry, I wasn't properly blended around the mouth. Now you see for yourself why blending into all these areas are important. This looks like Jim Carrey the mask. I'm not here for it. Please don't be caught out here like this. Okay, so now I'm going in with my correct foundation shade, which is Tiramisu in the Too Faced Born This Way collection. I'm using my 957 Precision Kabuki brush, and I'm making sure that I'm getting into my hairline. I'm getting under my chin, my neck, the other side of my hairline, and the corners of your nose. That is super important. Please take your time when it comes to doing foundation. And when you get a little bit more efficient, then you can move a whole lot quicker. But take your time so you don't miss any spots.
so welcome back I'm feeling myself because I feel really pretty right now and I really liked how my foundation came out and I'm hoping that your foundation came out the same exact way if not very close because what practice makes perfect we went through several different types of foundations. You have your BB, your CC creams, you have your regular cream, you got stick foundations, liquid foundations, powder foundation, you got it all. But in today's video, we went over liquid foundation because that's just my situation of choice. I love a good liquid. We also went through the different types of brushes that you can use for your foundation. For me, this is my go-to Precision Kabuki brush, the 957 from the Golden Triangle Bedellum Tools. Love, love, love this brush. But if you don't really like using brushes, we talked about beauty blenders, how amazing, easy beauty blenders are. I can do my entire face with a beauty blender. And these two, I bounce back and forth, and I love them both. And I'm hoping that you find a tool that is easy for you to use along with your foundation of choice. So please let me know if I've done a good job. I wanted to make this foundation video easy, simple, and easy to follow along. So if you followed along, please, I would love to see pictures. Drop it down below, let me know how I did. Uh, and also let me know what other beginner friendly, sorry, I caught the light. Let me know of any other beginner friendly ideas or situations you'd like to get into because I can't think right now. I cannot come up with the word. But in any case, <laughs> But in any case, I hope that you enjoyed your time with me as I enjoyed my time with you. And I look forward to making another beginner friendly video. So I'll see you in my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.